Hello and welcome to my channel. It's a tailored life. My name is Taylor and today's video is all about laundry motivation. We are getting a week's worth of laundry done today. It's Sunday and I just feel like Sunday is the perfect day to get all of the laundry done and know that you're starting the week off with all clean laundry. We are going to be washing, drying, folding, ironing and putting everything away i love starting the week off like this especially with my son he wears uniforms so knowing that his uniforms are all clean ironed and hanging up it just gives me peace of mind knowing that getting ready for the week is going to be super easy so first we are going to start in my bedroom by taking the sheets off my bed i need to wash my linen now normally i wash the sheets on my bed at least once a week um I say at least because I do have a two year old. I also have a seven year old. I wash their bed sheets once a week also. But if mistakes happen or anything like that, I definitely change the sheets more often, like throughout the week as needed, if needed. But this time I was able to go a full week. So we are going to get everyone's sheets all clean. I also wash the comforters. <laughs> it varies sometimes I'll do once a month sometimes I'll do like every two weeks it all depends on what I feel like we need um, my boys sheets I'm um, not their sheets their comforters are a lot more thin than mine so I can wash theirs a lot more often mine is pretty big you'll see when I put it in the washer it's a little bit of work to get it in the washer now once I take everyone's sheets off I'm gonna go through the entire house I look everywhere and collect all of the laundry and this is all of the detergents and things that I'm gonna be using I use um, the pods and I also use the liquid detergent because like for the sheets or comforters sometimes I feel like it's hard for the pods to dissolve all the way but I also use like free and clear um, detergents for my kids clothes they have very sensitive skin but I do like to use like gain and fabric softener for myself and my husband um, I only use like the non scented products on our sheets also I don't use anything scented because me and my boys we have allergies and sometimes like smells can be really overwhelming for me also um if I wash my sheets and something scented at night like it just is too much for me so I like for those to be washed in like unscented detergent now that I've gotten everything pulled out I'm going to go ahead and sort our laundry out into piles um, I wash my boys stuff separate so I do a pile of my kids clothes I do a pile of towels I do me and my husband's dark clothes well I should say colored clothes because it's not specifically dark just anything with colors um, I do those together and then I do a pile of whites now these are just like normal everyday day-to-day -day clothes now if we have like church clothes or anything that's delicate I should say not just church clothes but anything that's delicate I will like create a separate pile for that if need be but just like our regular like t-shirts and jeans that we wear during the week I'm not super picky about those like I just do a pile of colors to be daring baby dance the night away i let my head down if i want don't you just get tired okay so i have my laundry all sorted out i have everybody's sheets over here i have towels this pile of towels i think it's gonna be like two to three loads i don't when it comes to like towels and sheets I don't like to overstuff the washer. I like to keep those loads pretty small so that I feel like they really get washed. Um, the boys, this looks like about one load. I may split it up into two. I'll see how it looks when I put it in the wash. My husband and myself, that's about two loads. And for the whites, I feel like I don't really have enough whites for a full load. So what I might do is I might pull some whites out of here to put with those um because i usually just wash my towels all together because my white towels i've had them forever so i'm not like working really hard to keep those super bright and white but i think i may pull some out and put some with that to make a full load and that way that just for sure is two loads so i think that's what i'm gonna do i had a load in the wash that i totally forgot about the other day and i hate when i do that so I'm waiting for that to finish washing so that I can go ahead and put well I'm gonna start with my sheets first because I have both my sets of sheets out here because I had to change my sheets um, one day during the week 
and I switched to those blue ones. So both my sets of sheets, I have one more, but I try not to use it if I don't have to. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start with sheets. After I do sheets, um, I'll probably start working on like towels and clothes and get through, but I always start like priority is the sheets. So that's gonna be my first load. Well, actually my comforter will be my first load and then sheets. So my comforter was my first load and as you can see it's a little bit difficult to get this into the washer because I always want to make sure it's in kind of evenly so that my washer doesn't get off balance and I also want to make sure that it gets really clean. I didn't have anything drying so I was able to as soon as this was done go ahead put it in the dryer and start on a next load. So I went ahead and I put my white sheets in next just because I wanted to be able to have those to put back on my bed before the end of the day. Now once my comforter dried in the dryer it was not completely dry it was still damp but I was okay with that because what I normally do is I just lay it out on my bed and I turn my ceiling fan on to get it all the way dry this way it doesn't waste a bunch of time just me trying to readjust it and rearrange it in the dryer over and over trying to get it completely dry I just let it air dry and then I put the white sheets in the dryer and I put my other backup set of sheets in all of my pillowcases into the washing machine to get those started So now that I had gotten all of our sheets um, washed and dried, I was able to go ahead and start folding. So my first load of clothes that I washed and dried were my boys clothes. And then I had already had a load that like I said at the beginning of the video, I forgot was in the washer. So I washed and dried that load. So I had two loads of laundry to go ahead and fold. And I have talked about this on my channel so many times, you guys, laundry is my favorite task. <laughs> like, I do not mind doing laundry. As you can see, this day, I'm like folding laundry and my husband is sitting on the couch next to me. We were like just watching TV and having a conversation. My boys were in their room playing. Like, lawn folding laundry is something that I can do without thinking about at all. Like, all you have to do is turn on a really good movie and I can fold like 10 loads <laughs> just sitting there watching a movie so I definitely do not mind this at all but I understand like not everyone loves to do laundry and sometimes we all need company when we're completing these tasks so that is why I am here for you so today if you have any laundry to do go ahead start pulling your laundry out we're gonna do it together <laughs> we're gonna chat like friends and just get this laundry all folded and all put away So before we get too far into the video, let me go ahead and introduce myself. If you are new here, my name is Taylor. I am a wife and a stay-at-home mom. I have two boys. My older son Jackson is seven and my younger son Lincoln is two years old. And I love making like cleaning motivation videos. And lately I have been making a lot more laundry motivation videos just because I've been falling behind with laundry. I like to do laundry 
at least one load a day every day but I can admit that I have not been able to keep up with that lately we have been really busy my older son Jackson he's in a lot of activities after school and like with my husband's work we just always have like a lot going on so I'm not always able to complete it every single day but when I do get to it it's sometimes a really huge pile of laundry and just making laundry motivation videos does really help keep me accountable and helps me stay on top of it because I don't want you guys to know how far I've fallen behind but I also feel like I have to show you guys <laughs> when I get behind so it's definitely very motivating for me to like stay on top of it so this week it was the end of the week and I hadn't got a lot done and I was like you know what Sunday I'm going to wash fold iron hang put everything away i'm not going into another week with this much laundry so that is why i have been creating a lot more laundry motivation videos and i think i am going to make this like a weekly thing if i can't get laundry done every day that's okay i will be here with you guys every week every sunday look for me to have a laundry motivation video because we're going to get through this together you guys like laundry is just never ending but that's okay <laughs> that is okay because we all know the struggle no one is alone with this struggle and excuse my headscarf you guys so i was trying to do laundry all day on this day and just get it done in one day but i actually was not able to complete it all in one day because my niece had her first birthday and this was at the end of the day like it was later in the evening and so i just wanted to go ahead and swap out these loads before i go to bed but i was like dressed and ready for bed i was ready <laughs> for bed so I had my hair tied up my pajamas on and everything just getting ready to go to bed but I wanted to make sure that I kept the washer and the dryer going whenever I could and a lot of times I will do that to help me stay on top of laundry sometimes if I can't fold everything I do my best to continue trying to at least keep washing and drying at the very least just keep washing and drying if it's a pile of clothes of clean clothes in a basket at least they're clean clothes and not a pile of dirty clothes even though I do try to fold and put everything away every time I fold a load of clothes like go ahead wash dry fold it and put it away but that's not always possible so I definitely just keep going whenever I can and make sure you guys are cleaning out your lint filter um, and the dryer so you don't damage your dryers I always like to do it with every load just to be safe it just gives me peace of mind to know that I've cleaned it every single time when I was younger I used to say like oh I would clean it every few times but I would forget and it would just get out of control so I just clean it every single load it's just easier to do that way okay so we are down to two loads we have not two loads <laughs> we're down to just two piles I have this very small pile of white and I also have this pile of towels I'm gonna take um, the white towels out of here put them with those whites like I said I normally just wash all of my towels together but this pile is so small that I'm gonna mix them up and I think this is maybe just two loads left possibly three two or three so we're gonna do this so that we can go ahead and swap out what we have washing and drying and go ahead and get these going and we will be all done for the week now I'm so tired of hearing all your stories about the drunk guys bragging and the glory So for this load of whites, I am going to add bleach to the 
um, washer, but I'm also only gonna wash these with the unscented Tide Pods just because my son's white school uniform shirts are in this load and anything that has his clothes in it, I always do my best to make sure that I'm washing it in the unscented, unscented, I feel like I've said that word so many times, um, the unscented detergent, just to make sure that it does not irritate his skin. And now I'm folding the last of my boys clothes, the load that they had, I, ha I split that into two loads. So I'm folding the last of that. And whenever I fold clothes to make it really easy to just quickly put everything away, I separate everything into piles that align with how our clothes are organized in the drawers. So for my older son, he has one drawer that is only for shorts, one for shirts, one for underwear, and one for pajamas. So I will separate his clothes like that. So he's old enough where he puts his own clothes away. So you guys will see. He comes out and he gets his clothes and he puts his clothes away himself. But it makes it really easy for him to put his clothes away if I have it all sorted for him. But it's also just really easy for me when I go put everyone's clothes away because I kind of keep it separated in my hands. And it's just super easy to go straight to the drawer that it belongs to, drop it in there, come back and get the rest of the clothes. Cause I gotta say, you're looking like a gift for me. Wrapped up nice and neat, baby. Get in my way now, don't be shy. We'll be here dancing day and night. As I'm folding my boys' clothes, you will notice that I am putting like uniform shorts off to the side. My older son, he goes to school and he does wear uniforms to school. And so I like to iron his uniforms just for like neatness, like appearance. I don't like for them to look too wrinkled. He does have the type of material that if I quickly take them out of the dryer, like right away, I can kind of shake them out and they'll be okay. But I just like the look of them to be ironed. Like they don't have to be like super starched pressed but I do just like the appearance of like the neatness and like just for them to look like really well cared for I also try to take really good care of his uniforms so that they last all school year so normally what I will do is for his uniforms because you guys I do not like to iron um, I've never enjoyed ironing I don't mind folding but ironing is not my favorite so what I normally do is I will wait until the end of the week and I will just iron whatever uniforms he wore for that week and hang them all back up. Now he has more than a week's worth of uniforms, but I just like to keep them all hanging in his closet all the time, all year round, because it makes getting ready in the morning also super easy because he does wear uniforms literally all we have to do is pick out what color he's gonna wear that day like what color shirt and we only have two options <laughs> for shorts he can either wear blue or khaki and his shirt color options it's not that crazy either so because I have them all like ironed and hanging up already it makes getting ready just like super fast and super easy but because I don't like to iron I also only like to do this once a week so I'm just gonna pull out as I'm folding everyone's laundry, anything that needs to be ironed, and you'll see later on in the video, I'm going to iron everything at one time. Um, I did the same thing for my husband also, some of his stuff, but some of his work shirts, I will go ahead and I will iron those when I'm ironing my son's school uniforms, just to go ahead and get ironing out of the way because I cannot imagine having to iron every day. Like. I just can't do it <laughs> that's just not for me so I try to get it all done at one time
So as I was putting um, all of our clothes away, my voice reminded me that I did not put the sheets back on their bed. So the day that I did the laundry and I pulled all the sheets off the bed, they stayed the night with their grandparents that night. So I only put my sheets back on and my plan was to put their sheets on first thing in the morning. But I totally forgot, so I wanted to go ahead and put their sheets back on the bed. And I, let me know in the comments if you're like this. I love starting off the week with a fresh set of sheets. Like, I love that the laundry is all clean because I feel like that just mentally makes me feel better. But also going to bed on a fresh, clean set of sheets just also is 10 out of 10 for me. <laughs> so let me know in the comments if you're like that. Or are you somebody where it doesn't really matter to you if the sheets are clean that day or clean three days ago? So while I was putting their sheets on the bed, I heard the washer and the dryer go off. Mine makes like a beeping noise when they both are done. And so I stopped what I was doing just to go ahead and quickly swap out the loads. I was trying to really stay on top of like as soon as the load finish, putting a new load in because I wanted to be completely done today. Like I wanted Sunday evening to just be relaxation and knowing that everything was cleaned and put away so i paused in putting the sheets back on but we're gonna go back and we are gonna put my toddler sheets on i just wanted to go ahead and get the next load started I'm not that So I took a quick little snack break to go ahead and just eat something really fast before I continued on with folding the clothes and I was watching a um, mystery movie on Netflix with my husband called Reptile and it had Justin Timberlake in it. The movie was actually really good. Um, if you have Netflix, definitely check it out. I had never heard of it before but I actually enjoyed it and I did like that it had Justin Timberlake in it because you know there's so many rumors going on right now about uh, sync having a reunion tour and I'm really excited to see like if that's gonna happen or if they're gonna do like a Vegas residency I've been seeing a lot about that too but I don't know what's true and what's not true but let me know in the comments um, were you an NSYNC fan or a Backstreet Boys fan growing up? I was Backstreet Boys crazy. I loved the Backstreet Boys. I was not really a big NSYNC fan, but I definitely liked Justin Timberlake when he went solo. Like I really enjoyed a lot of his music. Um, and now that I'm older, I do realize like NSYNC had a lot of hits. Like I kind of was that really young girl who felt like I had to choose. And now that I'm older, I'm like, oh, they both were pretty good. I mean. They were okay now that I'm older. I can also acknowledge that. But just like having to choose one, I was all about Backstreet Boys. So let me know which one was it for you. Were you a Backstreet Boys fan or an NSYNC fan?
So now I'm just picking up the last load of towels that I need to throw in the wash. And before I put those in the wash, I did walk around the house and just make sure that there was nothing left. Like whenever I get down to the last load of clothes, I always like to just double check and make sure there's nothing left that needs to be washed. And when I pulled out those whites, I did have a white linen shirt that I have worn to church. So I wanted to take that out because I didn't want it to get wrinkled. So as soon as that came out of the dryer, it was still really hot. I went ahead and I put that on a hanger. This way, if I do have to iron it next time that I wear it, it's just going to be a very light and gentle ironing, not like taking me all day because I have definitely made that mistake before of putting something in the dryer and not pulling it out right away and leaving it like balled up in the laundry and it's really wrinkled and it makes like ironing it a lot of work and I'm just putting in this load of towels before I start ironing now with my towels I do put a lot of like fragrance in there but I don't mind I just like for the towels to smell really good I also like for my towels to smell really good in case we have guests I don't know I just really like the idea of towels smelling good so I definitely use like fabric softener and scent beads with those whenever I wash them and now I am ironing my son's school uniform pants. So I'm just gonna go ahead and iron everything right now that needs to be ironed through all of the clothes that I folded and put away. I pulled out everything that needed to be ironed. This way I only have to iron one time this week. I can just get this done and get it out of the way. I keep on driving till it bends. Still it feels like I pretend. Keep on driving and driving along the road tonight. So now that I'm all done ironing, normally once I finish ironing, the first thing that I would do is hang everything up right away. But I remembered that I had this load of whites that had just come out of the dryer. 
So I wanted to fold those first because I also remembered in this load, my son does have a few uniform shirts that need to be hung up. These shirts did not need to be ironed because they are like uh, that dry fit material. So those shirts I normally don't have to iron, which I really like that, that they don't need to be ironed. We also live in South Florida, so I like for him to wear those dry fit shirts because he's at the age where they still go to recess. So it's perfect for like keeping him cool, but it's also really good for me because I don't have to iron them. Once I got the load of white laundry all folded and put away, I knew that I didn't have anything left that I needed to iron or hang up. So I went ahead and I hung up everything that I ironed earlier and I did also hang up all of my son's uniform shirts. Let's go ahead and pull out this last load of laundry. This is the final load. Once I fold and put these away, I am all done. We will have a house full of clean laundry. All the dirty clothes baskets are now empty. <laughs> I did not cook on this Sunday. Um, we just decided to chill because we had gone to my niece's party the day before. 
I was still really tired. Um, I stayed and helped clean up and the boys were still really tired. So it was just a really chill, like lazy Sunday. But I love Sundays like this where it's a lazy kind of day. We're just chilling around, hanging on the couch all day. But it also feels really productive because I got everything done that I wanted to do. Now, normally on a day like this, if I did want to cook, I would cook something in the crock pot that didn't require a lot of attention. Just a really easy meal to do while I'm getting stuff done. So normally that's what I would have done but on this day we actually are going to eat some takeout um, just to make things like super easy and to make it a super chill day. And so we are all done. I'm just going to go ahead and put these away. I really hope you all got tons of motivation from today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have not done so already, please hit that subscribe button and I will see you all next time.